Hey, what's up everyone and welcome to another box office predictions video and I gotta make this one quick because I'm about to go and head out to see a movie. I'm gonna go see Truth or Dare, which yes, I will be predicting the box office for that one in this video, so look forward to that coming up now. Let's get to it because of course we have Rampage and Truth or Dare coming out this weekend, or I should say came out this weekend uh, i want to start doing these box office prediction videos a little earlier um usually i like to do them wednesday or thursday the latest thursday but i'm doing them friday so i'm going to try to do it wednesday next week but who knows uh, also for people that are wondering where the samurai jack reaction is i decided to give myself a little bit of a break with those so they will be back on monday but i want to do other things in the next couple days so look forward to the next one on monday by the way let's get to it here it is we're gonna do it we're going to do it right now, all right? I do have 11 here, but I forgot to take off that number 11 because we're not going to do a number 11 here. Uh, we are going to do one that will be, I guess you could say a number 11, but it's not going to be in the number 11 spot. You'll see what I mean in a second. By the way, let's get to it and let's do number, number one, baby. Number one. What is number one going to be? All right. After thoughtful consideration, it could be rampage doesn't do as well as some people thought it would because it's a it's a movie that has a pretty silly premise uh it's a movie that is in a certain genre that doesn't always make hits like godzilla and uh, kong skull island sure but there's been times where this just didn't work okay and disaster movies also don't work sometimes so i'm gonna say it's gonna make it's going to be number one, but it's not going to do as well as probably the studio wants. So I'm going to say it's going to make 32 mil right there. Hey, I, I should put it like a dash or something because there you go. That's better. 32 million in its first weekend, which is not too bad. It's just not great, but it does have the chance to open up bigger. Now, I do know the Thursday box office numbers and they weren't too great. So that also helps me predict this. So they weren't too great. They were lesser than, I think they were way lesser than, um, what was it, Jumanji, I think, or something like that. Forgot what the comparison was. But it's way lesser than something else recently that The Rock was in. Oh, it was San Andreas. That wasn't recent, but it was like three years ago. But whatever. San Andreas opened up to like $54 million. This one's going to open up less than that, most likely. But luckily, this movie doesn't have a huge budget. And also, it's coming out in China. So most likely, it's going to do huge in China. I agree. I already see this one doing pretty big. So I, I think this one's going to be A-OK, -okay and we might even possibly get a sequel for people that care. But all right, next one is definitely going to be A Quiet Place with a chance of A Quiet Place being number one for the weekend again if Rampage doesn't do as well as I predicted, of course, uh, because I think it's going to make 30.5 mil in its second weekend, which is huge for a horror movie. But I have a feeling it's because of word of mouth uh, and, of course, it being... I guess, I guess, yeah, I would say short. It's, it's a short movie. It's like 80-something minutes long. So that means you can have way more screenings too. So it's going to have the benefit of it being really well received. It being a horror film, even though there is another horror film that came out this weekend, which I'll, I'll do in a minute. Um, and, of course, it being um, pretty damn short. So you could fill up more theater screenings. So there you go. Quiet Place, I think, will be number two. Number three will be, like I mentioned truth or dare i should put blumhouse's truth or dare but i don't wanna so <laughs> i don't wanna fight me by the way truth or no i put truth of dare good shit i just realized uh truth or dare which is uh not getting good reviews it's the exact opposite of a quiet place uh it's it's actually well i think it's about the same length as a quiet place so it, it has that but when it comes to review scores it's the exact opposite is not being well received um, it looks goofy as hell. I am actually kind of looking forward to watching it because it looks hilariously bad. But um, yeah, I'm going to say people are going to want to see this. I'm going to say 18.1 mil. I don't even think Quiet Place will really take anything from Truth or Dare and vice versa. So I think both of those are just going to do very well this weekend, especially since Truth or Dare costs like two, three dollars to make, I think. So I actually saw the budget it was like three and a half million dollars. So it's already timesing its budget by four or five right there in its opening weekend uh, if it does that well i i could see it doing lesser but i think it's going to open up a pretty big you know for what it is all right number four number four that is going to be my boy ready play no come on ready player one with 14.6 
No, not eight. Six mil. Uh, now, I think this movie is going to keep dropping pretty small. Like, last week, it was it dropped only, like, 41%, I think. It's probably going to drop another... I would say that that's probably a 41% drop again, maybe 40%. I think it's going to keep holding in there, especially since it's so unique and it's still still such a like visual and and um uh nostalgic feast for some people. I think people are going to keep coming back to it and uh it's going to do very well. It has right now to this day, today actually, crossed 400 million dollars worldwide and I'm sure it's going to get to 500, maybe even like 550, 600. We'll see. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's doing well, and I, I love the movie. I really do. I know a lot of people didn't care for it because it, it, they thought it was too mu too pandering to people like I guess like me. Even though I'm not one of those per people that love references. If I did, then I would love stuff like Pixels, which I did not. <laughs> I did not. I just thought the movie itself had a really good heart to it. I really did, and I, I love a movie with good heart, especially when it's a Steven Spielberg movie. All right, number five is gonna be I'm gonna say Blockers. And I think this is going to do kind of like game night business where it didn't do a, like huge in its first weekend, but it holds in there very well and it ends up doing really good. Uh, I'm going to say this time it's going to do 12.8 mil in its second weekend, uh, down like 40 something percent, maybe like maybe even less than 40 percent. I don't know. I'm not really good at math at like I'm not good at percentage math like anything else math wise. I'm pretty good at. Well, OK generic math i should say now, now i can't do algebra don't even get don't even get me started about how much i can't do algebra i can't do algebra bro i can't even say the word but anyway i think that's gonna hold up pretty well i'm gonna see it this weekend also i have yet to see it so i will be seeing it soon all right number six is our boy you know who he is he's still there and i think this is gonna be the first weekend in its entire run that it will not be in the top five and that is black panther uh, it's still going to hold up very well. I'm going to say 6.1 mil, which is pretty good, uh, especially since last week it made, what, 7.9 7 or something like that, or 8? It, it, like, made it 8 million or something like that. So I think it's going to keep dropping very slowly, um, and maybe when Avengers comes out, it will be completely gone. I don't know. We'll see. That's, that's only two weeks from now, so I doubt that, but whatever. All right, so Black Panther, it's still holding in there. Uh, it has crossed – didn't it just cross another – another milestone i should look i think it did yeah it made it just made i think today or yesterday it just crossed 1.3 billion dollars at the box office so congrats there that was a uh, that's pretty amazing that's pretty amazing not gonna lie not gonna lie all right number seven is what's it gonna be what's it gonna be son isle of dogs because i did write this down ahead of time so i'm not just making this shit up as i go along uh i think last week i i predicted i i over predicted it i think i, I said it was gonna make like 5.5 million or something like that it ended up being closer to like 4.6 or something like that which not too high but you know definitely overestimated it this time i think i'm gonna be correct here when i say it's gonna make 5.5 seven mil because it's opening up in 1300 more theaters so i think it's going to have a small increase not a huge increase but a small one because last week they had a big increase in theaters but not a huge increase in box office numbers only like double so this time i think it's just going to be like a, another million extra to go along with another 4.6 or 7 whatever whatever it was last weekend i don't remember uh but i just saw the movie and i thought it was fantastic it's my fourth favorite movie of this year so far and i've already seen like 30 four movies this week this year so it's pretty good it's pretty good seen some good movies this year and i'm just say and i've seen some not so good ones and some of those not so good ones are on this list and some really good ones are on this list so actually yeah okay there's one here that's not not so good but that we'll get to because everything else is you know, like eh, whatever i mean i haven't seen truth or dare i'm sure that's going to be in the top five of my bottom list <laughs> but or the bottom five i should say but uh whatever anyway Number eight is, of course, I Can Only Imagine, which I think is going to hold in there again this week. I'm going to say 5.2 mil, um, which is pretty good, considering it's a movie that no one thought it was going to do this well. Uh, it's going to drop another 28%, maybe all, all closer to 30%. I forgot how much it made last weekend. But uh, that's pretty damn good. That's a good damn hold for that movie. So, hey, congrats there, you Jesus freaks. It might even, if it stays in there, it might even cross 100 million, but I don't know. It might not be able to stand in there for that for that long. 
Uh, number nine, I'm going to say is Acrimony, which I'm going to say is going to do 3.4 mil in its third weekend. It's going to drop harder, uh, of course. And I think this movie's amazing. That, now, this is the movie I was referencing when I said, like, it, there's some not good movies. But I love this movie. It's horrible. It's horrible. You watch my review. I mean, I, it's a long review, but I, I enjoyed doing that review. And a lot of people liked it. Uh, it's, it's, it's bad. It's a bad movie, but I enjoyed it. Uh, all right. So number 10 is going to be a brand new movie. I would put Sherlock Holmes or I'm sorry, Sherlock Gnomes here because I think it probably will overtake this movie, but I refuse to put Sherlock Gnomes on the top 10 anymore. I'm done with Sherlock Gnomes. So instead I'm going to put Sherlock. No, no, I'm just kidding. I'm going to put Sergeant Stubby. I'm going to say Sergeant Stubby because it ha it's about a dog, it's animated, and it's coming out in, in enough theaters. We'll crack the top 10. I'm going to say 3. I'm going to say 3.1 mil. Okay? And Sergeant Stubby, if you don't know, is about like the real dog, the real like war dog. Um, except it's an animated cartoon this time. You know, it's not live action or anything. But uh, I've heard of Sergeant Stubby. Like, when I heard they were making a movie, I was like, oh, okay, that, that sounds like it could be good. You know, especially if it's a, a movie for kids where it doesn't, like, overly cutesify the dog. And it looks like that's what they kind of did. But I heard reviews where they said, like, it's actually a good piece of history. Like, they actually do focus on the piece of history besides it just being, oh, cute dog during war. <laughs> Look at this cute dog. He's going out in the battlefields. Isn't that adorable? No. No, it's not. But, uh, <laughs> no, God. Oop, that was my phone. I apologize. Oops, my anarchy symbol. All right, so there you go. That is the top 10. But I do have a... I'm going to put N-A because I don't know what place it's going to be in. There's a new movie called Beirut. Beirut, I think that's how you pronounce it, with John Hamm and Rosamund Pike, who has been in like 14 movies this year so far. Like, Jesus. Um, but I'm going to say this one's going to make just straight up 2 mil. I don't know where it's going to be in the top 20. It will probably be like, I'm going to say number, you know what? Here, I'll guess it. I'm going to guess it right here. I'm going to say number 14. It's going to be number 14. So I don't know why I put a, there you go. I'm, I'm going to say number 14. So I know that that's a weird looking list, but I'm just predicting the newer movies. I'm not going to do a top 15 or whatever, a top 14. So I'm just one to 10. And then number 14 is Barut, which is a new movie. So there you go. That is my list. I hope you liked it. Um, so anyway, there you go. Uh, thank you to everybody that also, I should, here you go, look at the list again while I get this up. But thank you to everybody that did the uh, poll again. Every Wednesday, I think, from now on, even if I don't do a predictions list, uh, I will have a poll up uh, on my YouTube channel uh, asking you guys what do you think the, the, the new movie that's coming out this weekend, how well it's going to do, the biggest new movie of this weekend, and how, how well it's going to do. Ooh, God. Uh, ooh, there it is. Uh, and I did that with Rampage this weekend, and uh, 217 people voted. Pretty good. Uh, let's see. Let's see if I can get it. Let's see if I can get it without a... Uh... All right, well, got to get rid of this text. All right, I should make a, a thing where it's easier for me to get this up, but uh, I didn't. So anyway, here we go. That's good. So all right. I asked... Here we go. How much do you think Rampage will make this weekend? And 217 votes came in. Uh, I asked 15 to 20 million. 14% said that much. 20 to 30, 15%. So that's the most technically, except for the last one. <laughs> to 30 to 40 million, 13%. 40 to 50, 8%. And then I put, who cares? I always put a joke answer at the end. And 50% of people said, who cares? Which, I mean, to be fair, sure. <laughs> it's a video game movie, so I expected that. Um, I definitely expected that. So here's some of the com comments I got. Some pretty good ones. Uh, not good enough. Only Dundee could break 250 million opening weekend. I even, I even responded to that one. True that. Who cares? It looks generic. That is true. It does look generic, but it was fun. So I hope it does well enough because I, I, I enjoyed it. Um, Shock Blast, he says, honestly, not interested. I'd stick to Transformers any day. I don't know about that one. Uh, Cyber Leon, 40 to 50 million. Movie premise, a man watches paint dry. Rotten Tomatoes, 0% starring The Rock. Oh, wait, hold on. Read more. I did uh, opening weekend, $500 million. <laughs> Worldwide total, uh, $3 billion. Yeah, I would watch that. I would watch The Rock stare at paint dry. It sounds good to me. 
Theodore Stuckman, 40 to 50 million. It could be a sleeper hit. Uh, yeah, I mean, well, I'm talking about the first weekend. So if it opens up to 40 to 50 million dollars, I don't know about it being a sleeper hit. Like if it opens to 20 million and it holds up in there like Greatest Showman or some shit, then I would say that's probably a sleeper hit. But uh, I see what you mean. Who cares? The Rock and Giant Monsters might pull in a crowd, but there's a lot of stuff on the horizon for me, and this has been completely overshadowed. I just don't care enough to put any real thought into the performance predictions for it. I do hope it does well because I want Jeffrey Dean Morgan to get more work, and I'm going to fail fail to do my part. <laughs> All right. He's going to fail to do his part. Well, you love Jeffrey Dean Morgan so much, maybe you should see it. I know you're going to fail to do your job, but maybe you should do it. And... Uh, Cheapskate says 40 to 50 million. Well, The Rock is in it, so yeah, yeah. I think I think it's gonna do 32 million. I think it's gonna do closer to like what Hercules did when it first came out, which I know that was like five years ago, and it's completely different now, considering how big uh, The Rock is in not just in size, for someone says it, but also in stardom, I guess. Uh, but anyway, there you go. That is my box office predictions. It's not a short one. You know, it's shorter than the last one. The last one was like 22 minutes long. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. And until next time, of course, goodbye.